culture vultures and motorcycle club culture we get into it on this episode of demons row tv oh yeah we ghosting baby Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Chopper Sosa, I'm your host for the evening, and I'm pissed off, and we're gonna talk about culture vultures. Now, this shit goes on in every form of media, fashion, whatever it is. You got your authentic people that live a certain lifestyle, and then you have your culture vultures that come in and they just wanna make money off the culture. And listen, I'ma keep it 1,000. And if you in a club and you keeping it real with yourself, you know what I'm saying is the truth right now. Listen, if you, first first things first, if you ghosting with me, go in the comments right now and put a ghost in, pound ghost in, in the comments. You got people that are in 99s, telling you how to be an outlaw. You got people that are not in clubs telling you how to join a club or how or, or the ins and outs of clubs that are not in a club. You got people that are fucking police officers telling you the pros and cons of being in a motorcycle club. You got cops on this motherfucker talking about our culture and they're trying to make money of our culture like they're they're monetizing of our lifestyle like you're not out here at the parties with us you're not out here at the benefits and and all that shit and and all the fake love that you're giving to clubs or whatever like let me tell you something if all you could post on your fucking page is hell's angels did this and got locked up mongols did this and got locked up this one killed that one you're a fucking culture vulture, man. You're not involved with this culture. You don't rub elbows with anybody you're talking about. Any, yo, let me tell you something about me. Any club that I talk about, I'm involved in situations where I'm either at a party, I've been to their events, I know people in the club, or deal with them on a regular basis. Like, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And if I don't know, what I'm talking about, I tell you, look, I don't know these brothers, but this, this, and that. Like when I did the Iron Order thing, I, I kept it funky. I was like, listen, I don't know these brothers, but I don't play that cop shit. I don't fuck with cops. And if you're gonna have cops in your club, I don't agree with it. I don't have anything against them, but I personally don't agree with it. And I wouldn't wanna be in a club that did it. I kept it a stack about that. And I'm just tired of people acting like they're the authority on MC culture. Like, that's why I named this the holy grail of MC culture. Cause everything we're gonna cover is gonna be from experience or firsthand experience from somebody that I deal with. If it's like in a far place or in another state or wherever it is that like, it's not close enough or whatever, we're gonna talk about the real from experienced people in the positions to speak about it. And I've gotten in trouble for going too in depth with y'all, but I go in. That's just the type of person I am. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. But let me tell you something. Be careful who you take advice from because a cop could never give you true advice on being a true brother in a real club because he was never in it to be a real brother so how could he give you advice on being in the club and a person that has never been in a one percent world knows shit about it i don't give a fuck what they tell you if you've never been in a one percent club you you don't know one percent shit they're not ha and and mongols and vagos and outlaw they're not telling you inside shit so stop it you're a culture vulture if you're talking about shit 
just to exploit the culture. Stop exploiting the culture, add to it. Now, I know some brothers that do these channels, they have loyal followings. And I would like to say to the Lord, loyal to their loyal followers, if you don't like what I'm saying, fuck you. I really don't give a fuck. I'm keeping it a stack. If you're not part of this culture, you can't speak on it. If you're a motherfucking, uh, you're an entertainment lawyer, you can't, you can't represent me on a case where I got a drug case and I need to beat it and I'm fighting for my life. It's a different kind of lawyer. You know what I mean? Like, just like I can't tell you so much in-depth shit about a RC or, you know what I mean? Like the other forms of clubs that there are. I can't tell you, I can't go in depth about that type of shit and there's nothing wrong with that. People have a hard time playing their position. And a lot of y'all niggas is very intimidated by me. And I know that you don't wanna build with me because you know I just started five months ago and already my shit is booming. You don't like that, they don't like that shit. And the problem is, we're all, we're, we all got our own lanes. Y'all niggas is not street niggas. So, this is my lane. So, you have your own lane, you have your own kind of style. We can all work together. Like Hollywood, had me on the show. He's a different type of nigga. He's from Chicago. I'm a New York nigga. He's a different type of nigga. He had me on the show. We have different kind of fan bases, different kind of people that we attract to. But we collab, Raven Dixie, all the way in Tennessee. We've done stuff together. Like, we can all grow together, but this fucking mentality that we're like rivals or whatever, or we can't build together, it's dumb. All the major YouTubers, they all collab with each other. Gary V, all these people, they collab with each other and get bigger. But child are so small minded, you're like, oh, I got this little follow. It might be more than what he got for right now. Because we all know, and I'm looking into the lens right at you. You know, whoever's hating, you know that in time, I will surpass you. Because I'm not washed up. I'm new to this, and I have a lot better editing, a lot better shit that I do. Real experience in life that I've been through, not what other people tell you or what you think is protocol or etiquette or whatever. You got dudes that ne that are not in fucking clubs telling you about fucking motorcycle club etiquette. Like how the fuck do you do that? Like, I, and you know what? A lot of people would think that I wouldn't say this, but the back row biker dude, I respect him. You wanna know why? Because that dude, he comes from a perspective of, I'm a biker, I don't give a fuck about clubs, this is what I believe in. So he's keeping it real. He's not lying to you and trying to act like he knows all this inside shit about clubs and all that. He's just telling you from his perspective. So that's what I do. I give you my perspective of an MC in a 1% club and what I've seen. My ghost, let me know in the comments what you think. Have you noticed this already? Or am I just, cause I, I don't really hear people saying it. I, I look at the comments and I see people saying in, in videos where, in all these type of videos, I look in the comments and I see what people are saying. And the shit that people are saying, they're agreeing with people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And the whole mentality is like a cop mentality with a lot of these niggas, where they're like news reporters or whatever the fuck they think they are. You know what I mean? Listen, to each his own. We got the clothing out. Cop this demon's row clothing. Represent the real holy grail of MC culture. T-shirts, socks, everything. Represent for your boy Chapa Sosa. Another rant from your boy. Shout to everybody doing their thing that doesn't hate on anybody. I just had to let them have it, y'all, because they see that they see the growth and they don't want to see it happen. So listen, share this shit, share it on their timelines. If you're friends with these people that you know ain't official, share that shit to them. Yo, you should fuck with this, man. You might learn something. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. Oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.